Hello, and welcome back to the cove with more battle tech. We're about to make planet fall and have a contract for the restoration union. But first, I think what we're going to do is check on those double heat sinks. We had them spare. I did think about it, uh, but I uh, didn't end up doing it. But I did see it in a comment that's probably worth doing. And realistically, if we have it and we don't use it, what's the point in even having them? So we're going to go ahead and chuck these in here. Worst comes to worst, if we need them for another mech, we can always pull them right back out. So two days, 2,000 C bills. I think that'll be fine. And that will help our Marauder out right. and bring it I'll to that it spot the which we originally wanted, being more heat efficient. All right, so with that underway, let's head back to the Argo. We're going to float on forwards for another day or two. And then one more in orbit until we get that mech ready. And then we're going to be good. All right, are you ready to proceed with the contract? No, not quite yet. We're waiting one more day. All right, I and now... You asked for, Commander. Now we're good. All right, now we don't have access to a store as it is enemy territory, but let us go ahead and fix that up. So we're going to go ahead and launch the contract. Grave robbing in orbit. Ah, true. There it is, ah, true. A more foreboding hunk of ice I've never seen. Were you born in this system, or were you not, Mr. Oliveira? Uh, yes, Lady Arano, I grew up on Nassau Heights, one of the orbital hub stations above the planet's surface. Nobody makes landfall except for the surface mining teams, and they stay only for month-long shifts. It's too dangerous for permanent habitation. I remember an old folk story that originated with those mining teams. My father shared it with me when I was young. The Wakura, I think it was called. If memory serves, it was about an ill wind that would howl through the canyons, killing engines and scrambling computers. The stuff of nightmares of such an inhospitable world. Uh, yes, Lady Arano, it's a gremlin story, something the miners can blame when they pass out drunk with the headlights running. The locra killed my engine, I barely got out alive. Not our proudest achievement as a culture, but apparently it does get around. Alright, so, how about we see if there's any other threats we need to worry about. I think that's worth noting. Not unless you get out of your battle mech, which I wouldn't recommend that, by the way. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, how likely are we to run into the surface miners? Don't worry, you won't. Not where you'll be dropping. Surface teams tend to cluster around the rocky outcrops that ring the planet's equator. That's where you'll find all the real good stuff. Platinum, the Ruthenium, the Racer, ex sorry, the Rara Exotic, Exotic. You'll be well clear of the mining zones. Okay. Well then, not a great vacation spot. Got it. Let's continue on. House Carosa has provided us with five supply ships to carry whatever we find on the surface. Captain Grigas of the ARD, oh sorry, of the ARS Delphinas will serve as our point of contact for this fleet. After Dr. Murad's finished interfacing with the castle's computer, he'll pop the doors and we'll run a threat assessment. Then, if everything looks clear, we'll have Samaya set you down on the ground. Alright, hey guys, I hate to interrupt, but I've got a sensor blip on my screen. It's a dropship and I can't make out what kind. She's heading for the planet's surface. Looks like her point of origin was the Archer's second moon. Hmm. That's strange. Our true's moons are uninhabited. Is it a directorate ship? Uh, still too far out to say. At their current rate of speed, it'll be at least an hour before I can give you a positive ID. Alright, well. My question is whether somehow they've managed to get a uh, tracking beacon or something and uh, hunting down a Lady Urano. Hmm. Alright, uh... Yeah, nothing's ever easy. Yeah, why is it never easy? I think that's the best approach. Alright, beats me, Commander, but if I come up with an answer, be sure to let me know. Okay. We can't let Fofara to open the doors. If we're still in the area when our unexpected guests arrive, we run the risk of leading them right to Castle Nautilus. We're dropping now. I want our mechs on the ground when the doors open. I'll inform Captain Grigus of the change. Okay. Now you can't go down there in person, Kamea, and certainly not before we're sure it's safe. 
You're the leader of the restoration, but we can't afford to lose you on a salvage operation. Um, You know what? Madeira is... Like, he came along with her, so I think we're gonna let things uh, pan out between the two of them. Uh, we'll just go ahead and say nothing. Yeah. Alright, this isn't just about the salvo salvage, not to me. My father spent the last half of his life dreaming the Argo and her secrets. This is one of those secrets. I will see this through for him and for myself. Uh, now, uh, it will take time and expertise to get whatever battle mechs we find in the castle's armory up and running again. Lord Carosa sent us a recovery team and I want our best mech tech on the ground leading them. That's you, Mr. Vertanen. You'll be riding with me. Alright, I guess I'll go warm up the rumble seat. An optional secondary passenger seat. Oh, yeah. Not a bad idea. Eh, uh, have no control over. Yeah, at the mercy. Hmm. Joys. Alright, you know, the only time I've ever sat in one of those things was on St. Loris, and I got my arm blown clean off for my trouble. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Here's hoping you don't go down two for two. Good luck down there, all. I'll be keeping an eye on you from up here. Alright. Well, seems like we're going down. I'm glad we didn't intersect with Lady Arano. There's really no point in arguing with her. After all, she is... She is definitely going to be uh, coming with us no matter what. Now, the real question here... Um... Hmm... I wasn't expecting to be a person less. Maybe we should have told her no. Oh dear. Okay, well, we're definitely dropping the archer. I think we're going to want as much firepower as possible. We're going to bring... Yeah, we're bringing our 100 tonners. We're going to bring the Atlas too. That's for sure. We're also going to bring an Annihilator. I think, uh, do we bring rabbit instead? Got some cooling, so if we're facing off some hot stuff, we can, uh, vent as much heat as possible and be as efficient. He's also got the multi-target as well as the bulwark, uh, right? Yeah, I think that's going to be better than our bridging shot. So we're going to bow out and let people go where we deem necessary. We're going to say, yeah, Rabbit, you move on in. We're going, to, we're going to go with a very strong front line and then a little bit of sniping. I don't know what... Honestly, I'm kind of annoyed the mayor's in our uh, group. I was thinking maybe we could get an extra, like a fifth, but uh, yeah, that's, that's obviously uh, my fault. All right, well, we have no choices, so let's deploy... All right, well, let us see what was once the height of uh, fences. Hopefully, with any luck, it's not going to be too heavily crowded, or even better yet, not too, uh, not too occupied. Hmm, that would be certainly helpful, especially if we've got friends coming in an hour or two away. That would be uh, negative. Okay, Lady Kamea Arano must survive. No surprises there. Gain access to Castle Nautilus and make your way to the entrance point. Okay. Uh, Castle Nautilus is somewhere down there, on Aratru buried deep in the ice. Dr. Maraud thinks she will find an, ent an entrance at the coordinates she's provided. We're going to drop, make our way to the entrance, and force our way inside, but we need to do it soon. I want to be finished before our uninvited guests arrive. Well, uh, what is the bet that that's not going to happen? Alright, well, hopefully we're all good. Alright, good luck down there. I'll be cruising in the upper atmosphere and monitoring your progress just in case. Uh, roger that. Miss Meyer, Dr. Maraud, have you had any luck connecting with Castle Nautilus's computer? Already on top of it, Lady Arano. The handshake has been established and I have command line access. Door control is being a little finicky though. Work fast, stock. Riding in this rumble seat is like sitting on a jackhammer in a sauna on the sun. And Lady Arano's piloting it. And yeah, Lady Arano's piloting is aggressive. 
Oh, poor you. Not to worry, though. I think I've found a workaround for the problem. Get walking towards the main doors and I'll have them open by the time you get there. Understood, Doctor. Do whatever you have to do. Lady Arano, out. Okay. Well. Reporting. Uh, since we're in such a spot of bother with a very underweight mech for what I would prefer to be in, I think we're going to run forwards Rabbit and Angel yes, in Commander. our heaviest Waiting mechs, and we do not let anybody else aye, get aye. in front of us. Uh, she can, you know what, move up onto safe ground. I'll make it happen. Uh, I suppose Location the Marauder confirmed. can take a moderate okay. front line. The standard approach isn't working. I'm inputting a valid ID, but for some reason the door won't budge. I think I found a workaround, though. It'll just be another moment. Okay, well, nothing too dangerous. Let's bring that Annihilator upright. Uh, let's Standing go... Commander. Atlas 2. Coordinates received. Yeah, Polar Biome. This is handy. But I will see. Alright, uh... And may I? I'm on it. You can take a back seat, and I think. Copy that. Rannick, yeah, you can go there. All right, and I've got it. Okay, hang on a second. I'm going to try something. If she activates a bunch of turrets, I'm going to be very upset. Ah, great. All right, Doctor Murad, what did you just do? The lights are flickering. My screen is dead. Uh, Doctor Murad, Mister Oliveira. Uh. The whole Argo's gone dark. I'm not picking up a drive signature. Whatever Faro just did, it must have knocked out her engines. Ooh. That's not good. That is definitely defenses. Alright, worry about it later. Look, those vents in the rock, they're spitting out drones. Huh. Be careful of those things. Okay. They're armed to the teeth and coming in fast. Ooh. And there's probably more where they came from. Okay, so we got some heavy vehicles coming into existence. 80 tonners, 60, 60, and 80. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, um. Kamea, you, you're in. Oh, you've got an LRM5, but it's next and worthless. What's the plan? This is not ideal. Um. We're not technically in combat yet. So I suppose. I think what we'll do here is we're going to bring the Annihilator up over here. We've got some good, good targeting data on them. As you wish. Uh, the Kintaro we will pop behind. Actually, you know what? No, we'll, we'll move her last. Uh, Ready for orders. Angel, we're going to pop you up over. here. Yeah, up over here, I suppose. We're going to rotate around to the right. Uh, Ready for orders. My uh, Rannick, let's bring you up over here. We'll see if we can get any extra targeting there. And then Position Lady Amaya, you can uh, move into this location. Hopefully you're slightly obfuscated from targeting. Alright, good thing is we do have initiative on them. That is useful. Alright. SLDF Heavy Drone, PPCs, LRM-10s, Weak to Melee, uh, AC-5, uh, SRMs and Medium or Blazers, same over there, and we don't see what's in the back there, okay. Um, Got something you want done? Rannick, I think it's probably best that you pay... Hmm, we have a number one, there's a couple of twos over there, yeah. Um... Let's just double check. Two PPCs. That's about a hundred damage. Yeah, uh, probably closer to what, 150 by the time you account for that LRM. Uh, these guys—they're not as big of a threat, although I don't like those auto cannons. Yeah, Rannick, we're going to pull you up over here. Uh, we'll go ahead and focus down this number one. Just to make sure that we're dealing with as much as possible. I would rather make sure that we've got rid of them first. Alright, good targeting. I think we can burn through this nice and comfortably, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, Gauss Rifle for the win. Follow me to victory. Enemy vehicle destroyed. 
All right, so then Kamea. Honestly, I don't think we're in too much trouble in this regard. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, I don't want to dangle you too far, but I would prefer to get a kill if possible. Uh, LRM's at 65. We... Oh, you know what? 95. There we go. That is... Best of both worlds, I think. Yeah, that'll be as good as we can get. So I suppose we'll move you up over here. I'll do what you ask. Uh, we should hopefully get a kill here and pray that the other one doesn't have too many LRMs. And if she does take a little bit of damage, this isn't going to be the worst of it. So, uh, yeah, we'll just try and make sure we can destroy. Enemy vehicle down. Okay. Enemy turn. It is retreating. This is ideal. This means we can get our vehicles together. Uh, Angel or Rabbit? I think. Standing by. I think the Atlas is probably our first choice to move. Yeah, not full on uh, everything. Do we? Hmm. I think what we might do is uh, try and... Hang on a second, yes, let's see. What about Rabbit? Rabbit, you're not going to get any eyes on. We know that there's another one back here somewhere. But I think we're going to need your long range on the next turn. So go. yeah, we're going to go ahead and move Angel. Let's pop you up over here. Those targets are still fairly Moving to position. mediocre. And uh, that should give a... Oh, hopefully cover more angle for Kamea. Um, you there, how much damage do we need? We only need about 55. But realistically, I think we save our AC 20 ammo. Yeah, we're going to save that. We're going to keep the heat down. In fact, uh, you know what? Yeah. I think we're going to be saving this ammunition. I don't want to fire two shots. Otherwise, that's only 10 rounds of combat. And that does not seem... That doesn't seem too good to me. Alright, well. Uh, SRMs spend 12 of these. I'm not sure that that's worth it either. I think we can probably do this with just the lasers. So, yeah, we're going to hold off on that for now. See how we do. Firing on target. Alright, excellent. Good call on that. One for the scrap heap. Right now there are still three more SLDF drones, so I'm guessing they're coming from that other side. Rabid. You have orders? Uh let's get you a moving. We're not gonna get much of a turn if we don't do something, so let's go ahead and sprint. We'll try and set you up for a uh, good turn next time round. Time to earn our money. Alright. An 80 and a 60. Yep, here come the LRMs. Oh, and they're up on the hill. All right, good to know. Barely hit, Commander. Barely hit is the way I want to hear things going. All right, so... Yeah, they're probably hanging out up here or maybe behind there. Uh, Kamea, I don't think you can do too yes, much. Commander. Uh, Rannick, you know what? A Gauss rifle against one of these isn't probably a bad shot. Yeah. No problem. On my way. Uh, Gauss rifle. We've got some decent distance. You've got. Yeah, I think if this hits, we have a kill. Yeah, we will no matter where we go. So that is perfect for me. Uh, Ninety percent. That's all we need. Excellent. One for the scrap heap. All right, let's bring them a little bit closer. Mayor. You have my attention. I think what we'll do with you is we're going to reserve just to be doubly safe. Uh, not moving forwards as far as I'm aware. Yes, I hear you. Then I suppose if that's the case, let's go ahead and sprint you behind the annihilator. We'll go for some partial cover or obfuscation at the very minimum. Right, rabid. Awaiting orders. Got targeting data here, that's not bad. Uh, Receiving you. Hmm. Angel, you're straight out of luck. 
no matter where we go, we're not we're not gonna have targeting. Well then, I suppose. How might I help? We're gonna have to move our rabbit on forwards. I think we'll move up there. Actually, no. We're gonna move here. We're more likely to have uh, targeting against them when they come around that hill. All right, and you, medium drone. Yeah. Uh, where? What are we spending ammo wise or heat wise? We can drop. We do have a stack of ammo here, but I think between what's it's one, two, that's 60, 110, 165 damage. We should be able to just take care of this. So we're going to save our ammunition and our long range. And that'll also help with our heat. Yeah, I think this should be enough. And if not, I'm sure Angel can get a shot. Potentially, anyway. All right, vehicle destroyed. That's good. Reporting one less vehicle. Final drone coming on in. Order. Angel, uh, we're gonna go full sprint forwards. Understood. Moving fast. And make sure that we're presenting a very solid front line. Okay, our turn yet again. Uh, Rannick, ready to get it we're on. We're gonna get eyes on. Reading loud and clear. A mayor. We're not going to get eyes on either. Okay, so you know what? We're going to reserve. And we're going to do so once more. We're going to see what it does. And see if that gives us a better location. And it seems to have done just that. Awaiting right. orders. Uh, Commander. Yeah, here we go. Atlas. Uh, hmm. So far, no good. You know what? We may as well sprint the whole distance. Double time, let's we'll go. See what we're dealing with. Maybe we can get a good uh, LRM from Kamea. Yeah, two PPCs and LRM tens. Yep. Standing by. Uh, well, you do have the ammunition, and you're probably not going to be the first target, so may as well move you and take a shot. And nothing super effective. You have orders? And then, uh, Rabbit, let's get you going. I think we'll move here and just make a solid wall there. Moving that way, the other way it's obfuscated. What's up, boss? And Rannick, we're going to go ahead and sprint you forwards. Actually, you know what? That's rather, that's fine because they've already had their turn. They did nothing. We should be able to uh, take care of them fairly I'm easily. Uh, if we go here, yeah, Kamea, you can go ahead and you can take this thing out. All right, you know what? That's not bad. Uh, you know what? We'll drop the. It's only an LRM five. Uh, yeah, we'll just fire and just see. Copy that. See it through. I don't trust the Kintaro to have the right amount of firepower if we're dealing with heavier stuff. So we'll use her firepower when we can. All right, uh, Yang, we can't stay out here in the open. If we don't find harder cover, we're going to get swapped. So what's the plan? You fall back and find an extraction point. I'm getting you the hell out of there. Okay, no, we have to push forwards to the doors. Our only way of getting through this is Dr. Maraud will fix this, believe it. Lady Arano, uh, she's right to my... An outpost castle like Nautilus could bring down a dozen leopards, probably at the same time. If you try to extract us, it'll blow you straight out of the sky. Okay, you're right. Stay alive down there, I'll keep trying to get Farah on the comms. Right, do that. For now, we've got to head back, get our heads back in the game. Look, over there. The damned castle is activating turrets. Uh, of course it is. Well... Certainly a target-rich environment, and even more drones. Okay. ASLT turret. Okay, I don't know what that stands for, but I can't be helpful. Uh, get to the base. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So we have two turrets up there, and then a bunch of drones. So we're going to focus on the turrets first, and uh, make sure everybody gets in. In fact, ooh, Rannick? Orders. I do not like how far away you are. But we can get a shot on that 
bandage shredder turret. Okay. Uh, thank goodness we upgraded to an extra ER medium or laser. How much? Oh, that's got a full, yeah, full uh, equipment, a full armor. Yeah, AC 20, that's bad. Uh, SRMs and flamers. Yeah, the flamers aren't going to be too bad, but that AC 20 we do need to be careful of. Alright, so let us make sure that we're not going to be in any danger. I don't think they'll make it to us in time. They should be fairly slow. Roger. You run forwards, take care of this first one. Uh, 95%. If we go precision, does that guarantee us anything better? No, it does not. So we'll save our resolve. And uh, yeah, we're just going to send everything we've got. We have, what's that? 80, 150. Yeah, we, we have enough to destroy this thing. All right, that's good. Locked on. All right, sweet. One turret out of commission. One less turret. All right, now from here. Ooh, Taro being shot up by the side. Okay. They were closer than I Our thought. Took a heavy hit. Yeah, see, that should not have been a close hit. That's, uh... Yeah. Legging out. Our uh, Kintaro is not ideal. Alright, so you have a Shredder turret as well. Part of me thinks that's going to have some other stuff as well. We'll go... Uh, whose Reporting. turn is it? Rabbit, okay. Uh, medium drone, yeah, these things are now on full health. Yeah, we've had enough time to warm up and now we've got to deal with the real problem. Alright, well... First of all, we must take out these turrets. That is a non-negotiable. So we're going to run the Annihilator all the way forwards. We're going to see if we can soak up as much damage as possible if we are unable to do anything else. Heavy laser turret. One, two, three, four mediums. That's a good 120. Plus another, what's that? I think that's 80. That's 200 on damage. My goodness, that's uh, not good for us. Mind you, at this distance, maybe... Yeah, they'll only be able to shoot at us with two large lasers, so that's not the end of the world. Alright, so this Shredder turret definitely has to go. Uh, question is, can we burn through everything all at once? And I think we probably can do a couple. So we're going to activate all of our weapons. We need... Uh, what's that? 160 damage guaranteed. Alright, so, uh, we need 30, 60, that's 110 right here with medium or lasers. 155, that's not quite enough. That UAC here has extra damage. Yes, yes it does, okay, so that's, uh, oh, then we also have some extra damage here, okay. So we'll add this out. You know what? We're going to go multi-target. We'll pick up you first. And then we'll go with you. Simply because you are closest. And we're going to map this out. So we've got... Uh, what's this? 30, 60, 110. We need another... 47 to go. So we need a good 50 damage. I think what we could do here is maybe just send a single UAC to. Yeah, we'll keep that on that. And then so we'll go... B, 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 and B. So let's just double check that. That's 60, uh, 90, 120. Yeah, that's 170 damage. So that's good. And then on the second one, we have... Uh, what's this? 60, 90. Yeah, more than enough. In fact, we could probably chuck one of those over to a C if we so desired. Uh, we'll go... I still got A's and B's. Anything from B we want to move over. I think we'll go... Maybe the e extra range large laser. Yeah, so we'll just double check that. That's... Uh, what's that? 84. 90, 120. 120, yeah, 180. But then I guess we uh, switch you over to C as well. 120, yep, okay. I think that's as good as we can ask for. Let's go ahead and see what the Annihilator can do. Good to go. Because we can't afford to be shot in the back by multiple enemies. That would be less than ideal. 
All right. Uh, I think I mapped wrong. That's not helpful. Right, well, at least that's only two large lasers. We can cope. All right. We still have another Commander. target. So the question is. Do we go with a medium drone? Honestly, no. I think we're going to... We're not going to have range on the other. Never mind then. I guess we're going to do a quick U-turn. Um, can we pick up any evasion? Potentially. You know what? That's probably not a bad spot to go. Catch them as they come around the corner. Yeah, it's... Uh, Probably not too bad. Although they'll probably have decent aim. You know what? It doesn't matter. We're just going to go ahead and do a UE. Uh, yeah, that's definitely... Actually, you know what? Hang on a second. With our AC-20, surely we could get a target. Huh. No, we really can't, can we? Alright, well then I guess we are going to do a UE. Uh, we're going to spin around. We're going to move here for now, Got just it. to try and block Kamea from being shot any further. And then we're going to back it on up as we take out those turrets. Yeah, not ideal, but it's the situation we've got. Right, you have... Uh, about 89 damage, so we need at least 90, and we can take out any single space. So that's fine, so we can drop the AC-20s. 90, we've got... You know what? The odds are fairly good. I think we're going to let things... I think we're just going to go with those higher ones. You know what? Uh, that's for good measure. We're going to fire some SRMs. We have some better damage on them, so we may as well, just to make sure. Alright, excellent. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Alright, so now we get to see what they're going to do. Extra large lasers against the Annihilator. No real big issue there. Light damage. Holding firm. Uh, we have... Enemy flanking. Oh, darn it. I, saw... I forgot about the LRMs and our back being shown. Well... Oh, their targeting skills aren't impressive. But they did have anyone, anyone else to target, so I suppose... I suppose it's not the worst, all things considered. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go bring Kamea. Yeah, we're going to march you right on up here. We can deal with something right here and now. I think we'll go... Oh, you've only got LRMs within range. That's absurd. Uh... Yeah, okay. Well then, we're going to move up here behind the cover of the, of the rock. We're going to move on in. That'll keep our right side protected as well, mostly. Uh, we're going to go... Yeah, an LRM-5. We can do 20 damage. Still not enough to kill this, but at least it'll minimize what's left. That is super inconvenient. Alright, Ranek. Good to go. Uh, we want to get you out of danger, so we're going to pop you... Yeah, try and get you behind that Atlas. Uh, in fact, I think we'll move the Atlas on Roger their that. turn just to cover your back so you can't get shot there. Uh, we have a Gauss Rifle Opportunity and a Gauss Rifle Opportunity. Well, we're not going to be able to take you out. You have way too much armor. You, on the other hand, are a Prime Opportunity. So, I suppose we may as well get rid of one of our headaches. Confirm. Turret destroyed. Man, I love the range of that Gauss rifle. That is just fantastic. Alright, and there we go. Protecting Kamea. Well done, Ravid. So far, so good. Uh, that's the last of the turrets to go. So now all that we need to worry about is who is behind us. Uh, they do have LRM, so I'm guessing they've also got PPCs. They may not be able to get to us this turn, so let's move... Yes, Commander. Uh, let's move the Annihilator forwards, and we'll take out that heavy turret. There in a jet. And that way they will not have any uh, targeting data on anyone else. They'll have to spend all their time moving forwards. Yeah. Alright, so 160 is what we are after. I think we have that in spades. Uh, let's see. 30, 60, 100, 
45. Uh, 60, 110, 155. Ah, oh, two damage off. That's annoying. All right, we'll go with a UAC with some extra damage just for good measure. Confirm. And there we go. One last turn. Okay, now we can get Khmer out of danger. Uh, what have you got? Oh. Yeah, we were trying to avoid this. All right, well, Good to go. Angel, let's pop you. Yeah, there we'll do. Yeah, Copy we'll move that. you there. That way we should be able to cover his back from this guy if he comes around that corner. Um, Nothing like teamwork to make the dream work. All right, I think, yeah, I think we'll just stick with the same amount of output as the last one. We know that it works, so Reporting. One that should be fine. Vehicle. All right, one or less vehicle indeed. And it doesn't even make it around the corner. Fantastic. Uh, Rannick, I think what we're going to do here is we're just going to get you out of there. We're just going to go for full throttle Understood. Moving behind back. a cover. And so you don't have to worry about getting targeted. Loud and, clear. and then Kamea, I think... Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and do the same... You know what? No, we're going to go sprint. We're going to get her to the doors. Alright, uh, Lady Urano. Lady Urano, do you read me? Darius, thank the gods. Tell me, what's going on up there? Uh, Dr. Murad must have poked nose in something she shouldn't have. Everything's going haywire up here. Doc's putting out fires as we speak. XO, listen to me. You tell Dr. Murad that if she doesn't get those doors open right now, Lady Urano is dead. We all are. Well, I'm aware of that, Yang. Working on it now. Just hold out a little longer. I'm working on... We've lost contact again. Keep yourselves alive. I'll call out new contacts as I see them. Alright, well, at least we have a little bit of fire support as far as our intelligence is concerned. Uh, the Atlas is going to do a good job here of soaking up some damage. Kamea is in a nice and safe location. We're going to turn the Rabbit around. Yeah, we're going to make a nice choke point here for them. I think that'll do. Certainly. And then, yeah, we can certainly target you. You have uh, no chance in surviving this. Uh, let's see, 104, 131 damage. Yeah, okay, so 131 is our desired number. Now we are targeting the side, so I don't know. There's a good chance this could get spread out a bit. Um, you know what? We have ultra, we have auto cannon ammo for a reason. I think we'll go ahead and drop. Maybe that large laser. One, two, three, four. Wait a second. Ah, uh, that's six, seven, eight shots we'd be firing. Uh that's a lot of ammo. You know what? I'm not so sure I'm keen on that. We're gonna bring back that. We're going to drop off one of the uh maybe one of the UAC's twos, I think. Yeah, so that'd be 80. Uh, 110, I think it was. 110, 155. Yeah, I think, uh, you know what, just to make sh You know what, I don't need to make sure. We have, uh, we have the Atlas up close. We'll just drop two of the UAC twos. This should be enough. If we're lucky, if not, no real big deal. We'll be able to finish it off with the Atlas. Alright, Angel. Yes, Commander. Alright, we're gonna go... Oh, we're right on range, so you know what? That will suffice. Uh, we're just gonna go pulses, things, uh, we'll drop off those SRMs. We don't even need to worry about the heat generation. Yeah, probably should have done that the other way around. Oh well. Take that, you little bastard. Heads up! You got more of those little bastards coming in from the vents in the rock! Events in the rock. Hmm. I'd be guessing they're talking about this little location here and that one there. I think what we're going to do is... How might I help? We're going to bring the Atlas fully back. 
On the move. Uh, we'll just sprint a mayor across. Make it happen. Uh, the annihilator, I think, we'll bring back up here as well. Just make sure that we have a nice, healthy uh, position. On the move. All right, we have enemy contact, but we are in a nice little choke point here. We can even take cover and make them come through. To be a death wish yep, for them. Uh, Rannick, I think. Go ahead and reserve. We're going to try and bring them to us. It's not ideal if we get shot at, but uh, it's about as much as we can really ask. All right, we're going to reserve once more. There's only one more on our senses. We'll go. You have my attention. Uh, what do we got? You know what? We might as well bring the annihilator forwards a little bit. Have no doubt. It will be done. All right, and still not doing much of anything. Uh, Kamea, we're keeping you nice and safe. Hang on a second. Why can I not? I can't select other mechs, or can I? Uh, this feels like a glitch. Uh, hang on a second. Okay, so... So the tab button's not working. You know what? We're going to go ahead and brace for, brace for now. Yeah, I want to move somebody else, but it's not letting me do so. We're just going to go ahead and brace. Maybe just ending the turn will help. Right, and now we have access with everybody else. We'll go Kamea again. We'll bring you right to the back. I'm on the move. And then... You know what? I think... Uh, yeah, Angel... Oh, wait a second. Yep. Didn't do that properly. Receiving you. Uh, ooh, do we have targeting data? Yes, we do. Seems good enough no. to me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Full barrage. That should be fine. Ooh, those, uh, those were some wonky shots. That's annoying. Receiving you. Uh, what about you, Rannick? Can you take a target? ER medium laser. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll try and save some of your Gauss rifle. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm feeling like there should be some mechs coming around at some point, and we want to save that. So we'll go ahead and fire. Alright, target destroyed. Brilliant. Vehicle trash. Um. Got it! Samire, broadcast this now! On it! Okay, so we have one more security system yet to be deactivated. Uh, oh, we have... Oh, you nasty little fellow. We did not see him pop out of anywhere. Ah, oh, there's another one there too. Okay. Um, fortunately, our Kentaro is slightly outside of range for... for melee, which is deeply saddening. That would have been useful. Uh, but we'll go full salvo here. We may as well do that. We burnt through some of the armor, so that's helpful. Standing by. Uh, Rannick. Yeah, we're not going to deal with those other ones. We're going to bring you all the way back here. Thank you kindly. Uh, rough terrain. No, that's. Uh, got something you want done? I thought for a second then it may have been ice, and we would have got some extra cooling, but no need. And uh, you know what? We'll drop off. We'll drop off a medium of laser, just to preserve, but we'll have more than enough damage. Alright. Reporting one less vehicle. Extra vehicles are down, what are they going to do? Well, we're glad that auto cannon missed. That thing... is uh, armoured as we are, we don't want to be losing any unnecessarily. Yes, Commander. Uh, the Annihilator. By. Potentially, but I think we go here with the Atlas. We'll bring you further up, I think. On my way. Yeah, take all of these shots. You know what? We're also going to send that SRM as we didn't get the kill last turn. We don't want to waste more than necessary. There we are. Okay, definitely the right call. Adding on that SRM. One more for the trash heap. All right. Two more mechs, no real big deal. Uh, Rabbit, we're going to be fine. So you know what? We're going to go... 
I think we just brace. Actually, you know what? No, we'll bring up. We'll bring up besides. Consider it done. And then we'll brace. Mitigate all potential incoming damage. All right, some soft damage there. No big deal. Losing armor. Yeah, slowly. They have been focusing on that torso, but we should be fine. Just stop. Identifier code accepted. Automated defenses disengaged. Welcome, Argo. All right, thank the gods for that, Dr. Maraud. I need a status report. What the hell is going on up there? I uh, used our codebreaker to access a sealed portion of the Nautilus memory core. When I got in, I grabbed every encrypted file I could find, and I did get the door codes, but I also found something else. What did you let loose on my ship, Doctor? I, I don't know. It's something they were researching there. It's a malicious code of some kind. I think I inadvertently let it out of quarantine. Yeah, and you tripped an alarm while you were at it. Look, the good news is I've got it contained, 90% certain, but it's caused a whole lot of damage up here. Communications Apache, main drive system is offline, we are floating in dead space, but lots of superficial damage too. Anyway, I'm working on it, but I could use more hands on deck. Anyone who can follow basic instructions will do. The Argo is an enormous ship, and that code made an absolute mess of her. Understood, Samaya. I need to fetch our people, everyone but me and Yang, get them back to the Argo and do whatever Dr. Moroa tells you. Or to that Lady Arano, I'll be there in a moment. Tell the Lance to prepare for extraction. Uh, Lady Arano, what are we doing? Uh, what we came here for. We're going inside. I didn't bring us all this way to leave empty handed. Captain Grigus, are you, are you, you your ship and your crew ready? Hi, Lady Arano. The Delphinus is fully loaded and ready to drop. Good. Meet us at the north entrance and hurry. We don't have much time before our unwelcome guests arrive. Affirmative. Recovery team inbound. House Carosis is proud to serve the restoration, my lady. Thank you, Captain. Ready yourself. Yang, I'm taking us inside. Mission successful. All right. Well... Honestly, I thought that was going to be a bit harder than it was. I was expecting mechs and with all of the AI running vehicles I wasn't sure if they were going to have a have an AI powered mech not that I've ever heard of such a thing but I just don't trust it so all right well either way we now have an extra 2.2 million sea bills Nautilus base defenses uh apparently that's a reputation thing all right well either way who cares uh the Kintaro survived no damage there that is handy our Annihilator took a couple of shots, but we did pretty good in the long run of uh, soaking up some damage, and the Marauder did take a couple of shots to the back, but luckily our friends in the Atlas were able to uh, cover things there. Okay. Alright, salvage. What do we salvage? Well, since there's no max, we may as well go for fancy weaponry. We'll take the modified AC-5. And, oh, medium laser, accuracy and critical, for damage, and unless there's something better here, ooh, PPC, um, don't really use PPCs much, SRM 6 for extra damage, I think we'll go, I can value 200,000, the AC 5, 240, okay. We'll keep that just because it is worth more worth more uh in the long run go ahead and confirm that and we picked up a regular ac5 an lrm10 a couple of lasers and regular ppcs and ammunition as well okay not bad now the real question is how are things on the argo hopefully it doesn't put us back too far oh she did well wait uh the doctor did say that it's all superficial, so with any luck, we should be safe. We should be. Um, we shouldn't have lost any buildings or components or what do we call them? Uh, the extra modules that we've added on. That's what we're after. All right.
Attention, forces of the Urano Restoration. I am Commodore Samuel Ostergaard of the Concord Navy. You are surrounded by a battalion of the Torian Concordate's most decorated mech warriors. On behalf of our allies in the Oregon Directorate, I demand your immediate and unconditional surrender. But I know you won't stand down, Lady Urano. You're the Sword of Restoration. You have a reputation to uphold. And that's good. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm going to enjoy painting the ice red with your blood. Ooh, okie dokie. Well, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Also, too, that voice feels very familiar. It almost sounds like uh, Elias Tefexus. Uh, Alright, well, either way, uh, Kamea Arano. Farah? Farah, I need a status report. What's your condition up there? Diago's main drive is still offline. I'm working on it in engineering. I think I've got the malicious code isolated, but it's already done a lot of damage. What's your status, Lady Arano? We're on the move. Torian Marines have taken the outpost castle. Most of our salvage team is dead. Gang Z. Yang sealed the mech bay doors, but they won't hold for long. There are only five of us left. Me, Yang, and three of the mech warriors left from the Delphantus. Uh, we're on our way to the surface in the few mechs that Yang managed to get running. Heads up, Lady Arano. When, the, when you reach the surface, you're going to have company. I'm picking up a Torian recon land standing just outside the main doors. Okay, acknowledge Mrs. Ma. The recon lance doesn't worry me. When they see what we're piloting, they'll wish they'd stayed home. Yeah, we did see a couple of uh, atlases there. Go for a uh, go for a classic Stoner Scout lance there. That'll be useful. All right, I'm just glad that you and Yang are still alive. Is he holding up okay? Oh yeah, good job on getting those mechs running, Yang. Drinks are on me when you get home. Yeah. Uh, I'll take you up on that, boss. I'm gonna need it. Believe it or not. I've had better days. Hey, can anybody tell me why the Torians are fighting for Espinosas? And what is this Ostergaard guy have has against us, specifically? Because that's some grade A stuff right there. Um, I'm going to go with the Directorate must have found out about the Nautilus and offered it to them. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to go. Uh, we're just going to go with I don't know. We came from the deep periphery, we didn't have these problems. Yeah, well, if you do go back someday, make sure to take me along with you, because right now, that sounds like a really nice change of pace. My people shouldn't be fighting us. They shouldn't even be here at all. Aside from us and Carosa, no one should know anything about Castle Nautilus, so how the hell did they know where to find us? Best guess the Cortorians were tipped off by Espinosas, and that means we've got ourselves a mole. I'll bet you anything I know who it is too. Otto Carosa. Remember what Lord Carosa said about told us his son returned from Weldry a different person. The director had played with his mind and broke him somehow. Hmm. You think they brainwashed him? That's plausible. I'll send warning to Smithen as soon as I'm able, but right now the only thing that matters are fixing this ship and getting Kamea away from the Torian border. The restoration dies if she is captured. Don't worry, Lord Murdera. We'll have Smythe pick them up directly. Uh, oh, he's right. We need to focus on the job at hand. Um, we'll have Smythe go pick them up. I think that's the best bet. I uh, hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the Argo's docking clams are locked tight. Damn things won't budge. Till Farah fixes what that thing did to the ship, the Leopard is out of commission. Okay then, well then, I'm working on it. If I can get the doors to engineering open, we can manually release the clamps. Okay, let us know if there's anything we can do to help. Gotta keep things positive. Alright, will do. Please, Lady Arano, keep yourself alive. I'll fix this, I promise. Roger that, Farah. We'll hold out for as long as we can. The elevator is accelerating. We're almost to, at the surface. Any second now, these doors are going to open and we'll need some place to go. Darius, what are our options? Best bet, the Delphinus. Lord Corosa's other support ships had either fled or been destroyed, but the Delphinus is still on the planet's surface and she's within sprinting distance of the castle gates. 
She's currently powered down. I don't think the Victorians have detected her yet. If you can make it there, Captain Grigus and his crew should be able to extract you. Ah, uh, that's the plan then, Dr. Murad. We're going to have to get there and fix Diago any longer and we're only and we're all dead. Leviathan, I need you to stay on the comms and guide us through this. Okay. Uh Yeah. I'll see you through safely, you have my word. The elevator has just come to a stop. Lights are flashing, any second these doors are going to open. Mech warriors, ready yourselves for action. If we don't get them off that planet, we're going to lose our chief mech tech and our most important client. That can't be allowed to happen. We've got this Edmund. Guide our people home. Okay. Uh, are we running straight into another one? Does appear to be that way. Okay. Well, with any luck, she's ditched that stupid Kintaro and maybe picked up that atlas that we saw in the in the video. That would be the dream. Uh, what was it? Yeah, I think we saw like a uh, griffin there. We saw two atlases. Pretty sure. Um, what else was there? Who knows? Either way, it makes little difference as long as they're good mechs and they are up and running. That's all that matters. Okay, so we are preparing for combat. Survive the Torian attack. Proceed to the ARS Delfinas for extraction. Lady Camp Mayor Arano must survive. The elevator just rumbled to a halt. I don't know how much firepower Ostergaard is going to throw our way once we're clear of the doors, but I'm counting on you to lead us through this. Leviathan, now let's see what these Star League era mechs can do. Okay, well you know what? This is a fairly long episode, but I don't think we're going to, uh... Yeah, I don't know how long this is going to go for, so you know what? I'm thinking maybe I'll chuck on a part two to this one. We'll do this as a double episode. No point in keeping everybody waiting. And uh, I will see you... Well, you know what? Yeah, I'll release this, the next one an hour after this. And uh, yeah, we'll see you then. So if you do want to see the episode, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to catch the conclusion to this mission. And I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out.